Learn about plants for kids. Today, we're gonna to read a book about plants. Plants, a real science for kids book by Rebecca Woodbury, PhD. You can find plants almost everywhere you go. There is life at the top of that mountain. Plants grow in deserts, near rivers, on top of mountains, at the bottom of the sea. Plants have different parts. The little mouse, I have arms. On the plant you see the flower, the leaf, the stem, and the roots underground. Most plants have roots. Wow, I wish I could have roots, says the little bug. Roots keep plants from getting blown away. Roots also gather water and minerals for making food. Hey, I'm off to get some food. Wanna come? No thanks, I've got my roots. I can make my own food right here. Most plants have stems. If you see in the picture, that long section is the stem and the fan-like object is the leaf. Stems move water and minerals from roots to other parts of the plant. Stems also move food made in leaves down to the roots, as you can see in the picture. Most plants have leaves. Leaves catch sunlight. And as the mouse said, leaves make shade too. Leaves come in different shapes and sizes. Some leaves are wide and rounded. Some leaves are long and narrow. Some plants make flowers. Some plants make fruit. Yum, apples, says the little mouse. Flowers and fruit are the way some plants make new plants. Flowers and fruit make seeds. Seeds grow into new plants. Wow, so many different seeds, says the little mouse. All seeds have a tiny plant inside called an embryo. When a seed is planted, the embryo grows into a seedling. The seedling grows into a new plant. These steps repeat. Steps that repeat are called a cycle. A seed grows into a plant. Next, the plant makes a flower. The flower makes a fruit. The fruit grows and makes seeds and a seed grows into a plant. That is the plant life cycle. Wind, bugs, and animals move seeds around, so new plants can grow in different places. This is a helpful tool to help you pronounce science words. Cycle, embryo, flower, leaf, leaves, plant, root, seedling, stem. What questions do you have about plants? Why don't you ask your mom or dad and see what they might know or your teacher? Or do you want to do some science experiments? Like, if a plant is put into blue water, will it turn blue? Food for thought. You can find more real science books at Real Science for Kids. And I use them personally with my kids and love them. Thank you for learning with me, that's the end. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe.